Hello, how are you today? My name is Beodu Shegun, pastor of Treasure House of God in Hemelem State, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. In, an, in our Open Heavens uh, reflection today, our topic is no hiding place. And our Bible passage is taken from Psalms 139, verses 7 to 12. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines at the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. A memory verse is taken from Psalm 139, verse 11. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Our God is the all-knowing God. Nothing can be hidden from him. There are times we think we can hide whatever we do from the Lord, but this is impossible. The psalmist recognized this, and that is why he opened up in the passage that we just read today, that there's no hiding place from the Lord. Darkness, however thick, cannot hide anything away from the Lord. That's the reason anyone who is attempting to do anything against you in the dark place will face the judgment of God this season, in Jesus' name. Some people, as we read from the Open Heavens devotional, also go to the wrong place for solution to their problems. And after getting what they wanted, they will want to run away. Unfortunately, however much they run, the, coven the covenant they had made with the devil will follow them. Give your life only to Jesus. Confess your sins and renounce all covenants. The only way to be free, really, is to renounce all covenants and return to the Lord in repentance. And also return whatever was taken from the devil. Jesus said, the enemy came and he found nothing in him. My prayer is that today, when the enemy comes, he will find nothing in you in Jesus' name. Renounce and break all agreements with the devil and approach a genuine man of God for prayers of deliverance today. You need it. Your life depends on it. And the key point, Christianity is not just a way of life, but God's only way of expressing his mind. I pray that the Almighty God will bless you today, we keep you, we honor his word in your life in Jesus' name. And again, if today's your birthday, have a wonderful day and happy birthday. Bye-bye.